Hello, I'm Sam Vernier. Hi, I'm Connor Woods. And I'm Nick Quinn. We are the analyst team here at howtotrade.com and together we're going to show you everything that you need to know about trading the inverted hammer candle pattern. So let's get started. An inverted hammer candle pattern or an inverse hammer candle pattern is a bullish reversal uh, structure that we see very frequently in price action and it signals to traders that the trend, the downtrend that we're in is currently ending and it potentially may reverse to the upside. Uh, they, they are quite common on uh, price charts and you'll see them. They're very distinctive. They look basically like an upside down hammer, which is where it gets its name. They're a single candle set up within the price action. Now, traders tend to use Use them as a kind of signal, as a gauge of how and where they should maybe enter the market. So they do play a role within any strategy. So let's break down exactly how we'd go about identifying them properly on a price chart. An inverted hammer candle pattern is one of those candle formations that sits in isolation. It's just one single candle. You don't need two candles or three candles to validate the pattern. But what's really super important is where it sits within the structure. It's always at the bottom of a down move because it's acting as a reversal uh, in the trend uh, that's basically showing us that the momentum has shifted. And, uh, and then traders would look to trade that to the upside. This is the candle here. This is the inverted hammer because it looks like an upside down hammer. Uh, the, what the distinguishing features are that it has a small uh, body as a whole between the open and the close. Uh, you're looking for a long upper wick and hardly any, if any, uh, wick to the downside, but it has to be right at the bottom. Now, what you'd also want to do from there is tune it in with some other factors as well. I would be reluctant to just trade that specific formation on its own without anything, uh, any other confirmation from anything else. So you could potentially add in some support and resistance levels as well to make sure that you've got that, uh, you, you, you've got that in your favor. Maybe add a momentum indicator as well that's showing that momentum in the market is turning to the upside. And then from there, what traders would do is they would potentially use the actual structure of the candle to maybe get long. So potentially use the high here as a place where uh, you'd be looking for the candle to, the, to you'd be looking for the market to reverse, uh, punch above that high, and that will be your cue to potentially get long. Stop place stop placement would always be to the downside, possibly under the uh, inverted uh, hammer itself or the swing low, wherever that happens to be in the area. But that is what the candle looks like, and that's how we'd identify it on a price chart. So then let's have a look at an example on how we can trade this inverted hammer candlestick pattern. Now for this example, we're going to use the RSI indicator to, to give us some extra confluence when we're, when we're looking at the charts. But generally speaking, uh, we're looking for um, at the end of a downtrend for that inverted hammer to come into play to look for that reversal and that breakout play. So when we get our drawings on the chart now, you can see that this inverted hammer pattern occurred at the end of this downtrend. And you can see at the same time up here on the RSI indicator, we have a moving average cross and we're also in oversold territory. So this is a strong indication to us that the market is looking to reverse. Now, simply speaking, what we can look for is a breakout above this neckline, above this trend line here, which we actually do manage to um, we do actually manage to get. Once we get that breakout above, traders could go long at the closure of that breakout with a stop loss just below that inverted hammer pattern. And you can see from that trade, we would have been in a little bit of drawdown here, which I'll, I'll show you how you can correct that. But you can see that we managed to get at least a 2.5 risk reward trade. And we actually went on, you know, to have, this is a really, really big, big swing trade that we managed to get on here. Look, 6.5 and counting, I could go on and on. So this was a really, really fantastic opportunity. We could have limited being in any drawdown here by using a Fibonacci which you can use as well. So if we just draw this Fibonacci level and we draw it from high to low like this, you can see that what traders may have wanted to do is they may have wanted to, to see where we've got this breakout um, above this 38.2% level. And you can see once we got that, we retested this level here and this would have been a good position uh, to go long. So you may have wanted to have gone long after the breakout, confirmation, stop loss a lot smaller here, just below this low we have. And you can see that that particular trade, if we zoom it out, 
would have yielded, you know, 6.3 and again and counting and, and, and keep on going up. So you can see this inverted hammer hammer pattern within this RSI indicator and within Fibonacci, we've got a really, really key uh, reversal and breakout um, trading strategy here. Here are the pros and cons for the inverted hammer pattern. First, the pros. It is a frequently occurring chart pattern. Also, it's easy to identify, and there's a potential for high rewards when trading the inverted hammer pattern. Also, the pattern provides a good stop-loss placement level. Your stop-loss should be placed below the lowest level of the inverted hammer candle. That gives us a finite exit point just in case the trade does not go according to plan. On the con side of the ledger, inverted hammers can be risky trades as the trader buys the asset at the bottom of a trend. So if you're faced with robust bearish price action, your odds of losing the trade are a little bit greater. Lastly, other technical analysis tools must be used to confirm a trend reversal when using the inverted hammer pattern. Now, let's review some of the key takeaways from the inverted hammer candlestick pattern. Number one, the inverted hammer candlestick is a charting pattern that appears at the bottom of a downtrend. Number two, the pattern has an elongated upper wick and little or no lower wick. It also has a small body, the difference between the opening price and the closing price. Number three, with the inverted hammer, it is best to add other technical indicators to confirm a trend reversal. RSI and MACD are two premium examples. And number four, when trading an inverted hammer candlestick pattern, traders will be looking to enter a long position after a subsequent bullish candlestick develops. And number five, stop loss orders are best located beneath the lowest price level of the inverted hammer candle. Now, if you want to learn more about the inverted hammer candlestick pattern, be sure to check out the How to Trade Trading Academy inside our trading room. There, you'll find a longer form tutorial where we'll show you how to fit inverted hammers into your own trading methodology. We'll then demonstrate how to take that plan and trade it against real market price action. You'll have everything you need to practice and gain valuable market experience. Then, once you're ready, feel free to join our How to Trade Funded Trader program.